Hey y'all, so this is on a trauma patient that I had come in a couple days ago. We were mainly focused on the chest x-ray, um, but um, we can discuss other things of course. So this was a mid-50s male that was in a, involved in MBA, rollover, ejected, found face down on the ground. EMS brought him to us with one IV and that was it. Um, this is a small, very tiny rural hospital. I know some people have um, big ideas about rural hospitals. But this is the type of rural hospital where you are lucky because you do have two RNs on. And um, EMS stays to help for extra hands, which is appreciated. So anyway, this patient came in hypotensive. Uh, blood pressure was in the low to mid-70s, tachycardic. Um, his GCS was 11. He was pretty much out of control, thrashing about, um, saying you know odd things, etc., so my first um, action was to pop on the ultrasound and um, do an EFAST, which I found a left pneumothorax and probable bleeding around the <clears throat> left, left abdomen spleen area. It was difficult to see because he had a large um, swelling along the left side, uh, but um, the right side was clear, uh, pelvic scan was clear, heart was clear. So it was just a left pneumo and um, probable bleeding into his abdomen around the spleen. I then put a chest tube in uh, the left side, which you can see we didn't get a chest x-ray, obviously, until after I got him stabilized. Uh, put a chest tube in, or I'm sorry, I intubated him first and then um, put a chest tube in afterwards. And his SATs and blood pressure didn't really improve, heart rate didn't really improve. And when I put the chest tube in, I didn't really uh, get much of a rush of air. I got a fair amount of blood back, 150 cc's, uh, but no rush of air. So I don't think he had a tension pneumo. This is his first chest x-ray that I'm going to go over. And you can see that um, both lungs are inflated. There's no pneumo present. Let me start with the A's airway. You can see the trachea coming down here. and it branches right here. So this is the carina. And you can see the ET tube. It was easier on the machine, obviously, because I could blow it up. I can't really blow it up here or change the um, lightness, darkness. But the ET tube was right here at the carina, which was a little too low, obviously. Um, B for bones. So if you go over the bones, you can see there's a lot going on. He has um, most likely a flail chest on the left. He has multiple fractures in multiple places. You can see fractures here um, and here and here. And it appears these are posterior ribs that are fractured. You can't really see the anterior, but you can see some more fractures lateral as well here as well as on the right side you can see a fracture here uh, and um, I know there's more the second chest x-ray showed him better which we'll go over again so that's bones C for cardiac silhouette you can see the cardiac silhouette coming down and it looks all right <clears throat> diaphragms look okay and E for everything else, you can see there's a lot of contusion going on, um, especially on the left side. But there are vascular markings all the way out to the periphery. So the lung is re-expanded with his chest tube. Uh, with the ultrasound, I was able to find a lung point. Um, but it, obviously with the mechanism of injury, it's pretty obvious that, it's, that it was a pneumothorax. I don't see anything else on this particular chest x-ray and I'll pop up the other one and go over it as well. All right here's a second um, chest x-ray. So you can see starting with A here's the airway coming down. And it looks like this is the carina right there. And you can see the ET tube now. I pulled it back three centimeters, and here's the end of the ET tube. So it's about perfect placement now. And you can see the addition of a 
um, this is an OG tube that's coming down here, crosses a midline, and we didn't get down far enough to actually get it, but I'm comfortable that it's in the in the right place. <clears throat> Again, the chest tube right here. I think I forgot to mark that on the first chest x-ray. I'll go back and mark it real quick. And um, so let's look at the bones again on this one. Uh, you can see a fracture here, fracture here, fracture here. So counting the ribs, this is first rib, second rib, third, fourth, looks like fifth, sixth, seventh there. Did I count that right? First, second, third. It's like fourth, fifth, yep, sixth, seventh, yep. So those are definitely fractured. I can't really see any others there. But again, chest x-rays aren't the best for picking up fractures anyway. And of course on the left, we still have the multiple fractures over there, displaced ribs. So this guy's in a world of hurt. So the, this, the sats after the after I intubated him didn't really change a whole heck of a lot. And um, but once I withdrew the CT tube, the sats popped up in the in the low to mid 90s. So it's obviously what he needed. The chest X-ray continued putting out um, a little bit of blood. Uh, the um, blood pressure and heart rate didn't really improve. So I gave um, a unit of O neg and a unit of O pause blood and uh, that seemed to fix him. He got no crystalloid at all and two units of blood and EMS um, we aerovacced him to the um, larger hospital which is about 60 miles down the road and I haven't heard how he's doing but anyway hope this helps on chest x-rays uh, let me know um, either message or on comments. Happy to discuss and I appreciate your time.